President Biden making headlines in Tokyo saying the U.S. would intervene if China were to invade Taiwan. The president's remarks are a clear break from the longstanding policy of strategic ambiguity ambiguity toward Taiwan. For years, the U.S. has expressed support in helping Taiwan defend itself, but has remained vague about whether it would use military force. Now more on this issue in Fox Face Off. Quan Allen, another glaring misstep. President Biden suggested that the United States is ready to get involved militarily, as in boots on the ground if China decides to invade Taiwan. And I don't know about you, but it feels like we have enough problems here in America that aren't being addressed, whether it's baby formula or the southern border or the economy, and a lot of Americans in tremendous need right now. And we're also looking at the cusp of World War III with what's going on in the Ukraine. And instead of having health care for all here, we're sending them billions of dollars every month. And I think it was a horrible statement by the president. I think they're walking it back with the administration today. But, but dang it, Quanell, when is he going to learn to not say things that hurt all Americans. But and when are they going to learn to start worrying about the working class shows, Americans that are in such desperate shape right shows, now? In this case, he's saying nothing different than what George Bush Jr. said in defending Taiwan against China's aggression. Also, remember Barack Obama said it also when he was president. Donald Trump reassured the same line that they would defend Taiwan against China's aggression. So Joe Biden, he said it, and now everybody's jumping on him, but he's only carrying in the same line that America's former presidents have all said that if China invade Taiwan, they would defend her. But here's the problem. Now, the communist governments of the world, the superpowers, the last three, China, Russia, North Korea, have all gotten together secretly, I believe, and planned this. Now, Russia invades Ukraine. China is now a communist power. You see North Korea threatening to invade South Korea and take it back a communist power. Now you see China talking about taking back Taiwan and bringing it all collectively back together, a communist power. America is the last great democracy supposedly on earth, but the communist powers are coming together to attack America and collectively this would be the so war to send end So you want American soldiers? American soldiers? We've been watching American soldiers die for other people's wars. And you're right. George W. Bush, his dad, Clinton, Obama, all of them have sent Americans to die for no damn reason. Reason, right? But wait a minute, and you I, Republicans, and I, and I think but China, you Republicans, they say I'm when not Trump a was Republican. in office, when say, Trump I was in office, you didn't say that then. Oh, yes, I did. Hey, and America, I said it when America Bush, Bush sending well, soldiers to die in wars. Why do you keep saying I said stuff that I didn't no, say? No, let me say I this. The as a black man, I believe that we as black folks have fought in all of America's wars and never got the freedom that she promised to everybody else. So I say if Biden will say he boots on the ground in China, look here, brothers and sisters, those folks in China ain't never called us the N word, they never put their knee on our neck, and they never done nothing wrong to us. So if they want to fight that I, I don't know how tell this Biden. became racial, no, tell but Biden I am not tired of American soldiers of all colors dying uh, uh, for baby, wars. We as black folks fight the wars. We fight the wars and get nothing from them.